Hello, my name is Navigator, and as I talked about a couple videos ago, there is a new event that came to Fallout 76 today called the Spread the Love event. Now, briefly, uh, this is going to be a really similar event to a lot of the other weekly challenge kind of things that we see, where, you know, you do something for a week or two, and then at the end of it, you get this, uh, you know, kind of big reward. Um... This time around, we're going to be doing, again, the Spread the Love event. And again, it's kind of a, a weekly, bi-weekly thing. Actually, I think that it's only the 14th to the 20th, so it should only be one week. But basically, what you have to do is every day, uh, Bethesda will give you a new challenge to do while wearing this beautiful, new, free rose pantsuit. And you kind of got to go around and, uh, I guess, uh, do things like a little scavenger hunt. They did mention that in that article that I read. And uh, after the challenges today, it is confirmed this is pretty much a scavenger hunt. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you what to to do to complete these challenges just kind of on the first day and hopefully you guys will get the gist of it and be able to figure it out for yourselves uh the rest of the week so again really briefly you get the rose pantsuit from the atomic shop and then you're going to want to open your map and come over here to challenges and by daily you will see a challenge that involves the rose suit. Uh, typically, these will kind of have, like, uh, the event title and then the challenge, but uh, for some reason, it just kind of says the rose pantsuit in there. So if you're a little confused on what challenge you're doing, just keep an eye out for the rose suit in the title. So today, uh, the first day of the challenge, we are going to be, or we are tasked with collecting 15 fever blossoms in the rose suit. And shout out to my friend, uh, Wastelord, who's actually standing right next to me for some reason. I thought he got off. What is he doing? Uh, <laughs> I guess he's here, um, but he actually told me that the deep is a really, really good place to find fever blossoms. So today what we're going to do is kind of go in here. Um, I'm going to grab these fever blossoms, complete the challenge, and then I guess that'll really be it. So I'm going to head in here to the deep. Uh, this is just uh, east of the White Springs Resort. Kind of hard to find, but it's right over by the Cliff Watch. Uh, just so you guys know, um, or sorry, just uh, east of New Gad, I should have said, just west of the White Springs. Right by the pigsty, you'll see a little tiny cave, which is going to be the deep. So let's uh, let's speed run through here, and we're going to keep an eye out for fever blossoms. They are kind of a blue. I'm not even going to worry about those cave crickets. Uh, it's going to be too long of a hassle trying to deal with those guys. So let's just try to swim through here. So. This place is a little confusing. Um, if you have never been here before, uh, I would honestly go here yourself and kind of explore it. There's a whole story here. I won't reveal it, though. I'm sure you guys can go look it up for yourselves. Um, but let me try to get there as fast as possible, and then I'll hop and waste team so he knows where I am. Um, you know, I did a video a while back um, about how you can't drown in Fallout 76. I used to worry so much about coming through here that I'd drown in there, but uh, honestly, I guess not. Well, perfect timing. Let me just join his public team so he knows where I'm at, because we have found some fever blossoms. So that is what a fever blossom looks like. They're blue, kind of got this weird, like, stringy thing on the leaves there. Uh, but yeah, let's collect that, and that's going to be one out of 15. That's two out of 15. Uh, we got three here. I'm not messing with that cave cricket. What do we got? Four right there. Oh, four right there. Five. Take a stem pack just in case. Any more in this little, this little room here? So that's five. We need ten more. Ten more. Here's six. Let's see what else we got. I know there's a couple more in here. So there's 25. Seven. Eight. Let's keep moving on through here. There's bound to be more. So we're at eight. We need uh, seven more. Let's see. That's not a fever blossom, but that is. Nine. Is this another one? Ten. Here we go. Eleven. Twelve. There's, uh, there's a little bit of a spoiler over there. Uh, so it's twelve. We need three more, folks, here. Come on. Three more here. Oh, here we go. Uh... All right, we need two more. Come on, get out of the get out of the fucking way! Get out of the way! Oh my God, I'm, I'm so glad I have this shotgun over right now. Just get the hell away from me! Did I pick that up? Did I even pick that up? All right, so we need one more. If I pick that one up, we need one more, which is gonna be right here. Come on, baby. There we go. Challenge complete. Collect 15 fever blossoms in the rose suit. So, very easy, guys. You come here to the deep. Just run through here. You don't even have to fight any of the actual enemies down in the deep. You really are only bothered with the cave crickets. And let me hop out of here, and we'll wrap up the video. So... 
Again, for the third time now, I'm going to give you just a little debrief on the Rose Pantsuit event, or sorry, the Spread the Love event. You pick up this really cool, honestly, this really cool looking pantsuit in the Atomic Shop for free, and then you wear it, go out and collect these uh, different things every day, and at the end of the week, you will get the final reward being the uh, Valentine's Day flower pot, whatever it is. But hey, it's a free camp item, and uh, these challenges aren't really that hard, so I'm not complaining. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Keep an eye out for those challenges every day, and be sure to be wearing this pantsuit while you're doing it. If you're not wearing it, you won't be able to complete that challenge, and I'm sure I'll make that mistake a couple times this week. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I have a video out as well talking about some of the things I picked up this week, and I should have another video coming out just kind of about some Foshnot stuff. So with that being said, happy Valentine's Day. My name is Navigator. Have a nice day, I guess normally. Take care.